Hello again, I'm Carlos Gonzalez, uh, part of Noark Electric Europe, and today I'm going to make a slight introduction into our ACB series. Uh, right now, as you can see, we have here the A16 and the A25, fixed version and withdrawable version. Inside of our uh, ACB series, we have uh, several frame sizes, EX9 A16, like this one, EX9 A25, this one, EX9 32 and EX9 A40. As you can understand, they are actually really big devices, so uh, it's not possible to bring them here so easily. We will start. The EX9 A16 actually has a different internal accessories than the EX9 A25 uh, has. Let's uh, put an example. This is the UVT uh, product for the EX9 A16, and this is the UVT product for the EX9 A25. So this is something that we need to take in consideration. All of the frame sizes are offered in a fixed version and withdrawable versions. As you can see, this is fixed version on which uh, there is no any mechanism to extract. And as well, the terminals are uh, specific for uh, fixed version types. In the case of withdrawable version of the EX9 A25, we can see that actually there is a cassette with a mechanism to extract and as well different type of uh, terminals that needs to be um, built uh, specifically for these uh, withdrawable types. So right now, we will go a little bit more into details on which is the front face or which is the user interface of our ACBs. Yep. We can find this, which is actually the front uh, face, as we saw explained in our uh, uh, unboxing video. This part often is actually outside of the, of the enclosure or the cabinet. So this is actually the, the principal or the main part visible for the ACB. What we will find here is, uh, first of all, auxiliary terminals on the top. This is for the connection of the internal accessories, uh, smart unit of communication, uh, measuring, etc. We will find as well, uh, inside of the frame, the reset button. In the moment that there is some uh, trip or, uh, or a fault in the, in the system, this uh, will be actually the reset button to return it to the normal uh, status. We will have the, the charging pump. This uh, will actually power up the internal spring of the ACB and the control buttons, switching on, switching off. And as well, we will have uh, little windows that are going to provide us information of which is the status of the ACB. If the spring is charged or discharged, and if the ACB is in on or off position. Additionally, we will have the smart unit here, which is going to provide us visual information on the display and as well visual information from the LED lights. Now, uh, let's check uh, what we can find in the withdrawable type. This is fixed type and this is withdrawable type. So as you can see, uh, the front size is actually pretty similar to the EX9 A16 fixed type. We will find uh, roughly the same elements. Okay? So we actually here, we can find the pump, which is going to, to allow us to, to charge the spring. We will find as well the buttons on and off button. And as well, we will find here the smart unit. Yeah? There is a, a small difference between the A25, 32, and 40, and the EX9 A16. Yeah? The EX9 A16 uh, does not have the function of notification of the status of the, of the or the allowance of uh, switching on the, the ACB. You can see that actually here, there are three windows, three little windows, as we said before in the A16, it's going to explain, our, explain us or let us know the uh, status of the spring and the status of the, of the breaker switch on and off. But there is an additional OK, not OK window, which is going to let us know if this product is ready to switch on or not. This is actually related to mechanical interblocks, ATS systems and uh, uh, UVT um, things. So additionally, this uh, withdrawable type is also having um, the cassette, which is going to let us uh, remove the ACB in the case of maintenance or, or a technical problem for easy, easy uh, replacement. Yeah? Now, let's go to details of the, of the cassette and how to withdraw it. So in the case of the withdrawable devices, we will find here uh, the cassette and as well uh, several controls and several interface here. Let's go through it. This is actually the tool which we are going to use for removing the, the ACB. This is going to notify us which is the position on which the ACB is uh, currently. In this spot, uh, we will place our tool. 
This is actually a locking mechanism to avoid manipulation. And this green toggle is going to notify us the change uh, between status and status. So right now, let's check it. Right now, we change from connected position to test position, and it's needed to press this toggle, and we can keep going. And right now, we reach the disconnected position. We can press this one, and we can completely remove the ACB from the cassette. In order to get it inside again, we will just follow the same process, but in reverse direction. So we will just start tightening it. We will change to the test position, press the toggle, and keep going. And now, Thanks to this tool, we know that we are already on the completely connected position. We can press it and store the, to the tool here. So, that will be all for now. I hope uh, you liked and you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any question, uh, please uh, reach us via email or a phone call any moment. And that will be all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.